this is how to mix and pour your UV resin. Take the bottle, obviously take the top off. If underneath this, uh, if it's a new bottle underneath there, there's a little stopper. So unscrew that first, remove that little stopper, and then you've got your little nozzle here. Just as um, a caution, when you finish pouring, put the lid back on top of that nozzle so that you avoid a cure of the resin. Cure means hardening. So we just now pour straight from the bottle into this mould here, into this round mould, just very slowly um, and try and keep your bottle pouring in exactly the same position. You can see how it's filling the mould and by doing that you will avoid too many bubbles. Right, so put the lid back on and then taking your little cocktail stick just go around the edge gently around the edge of the mold just to make sure that the resin has adhered itself to the outer edge no bubbles in that one so that can go straight under the lamp now for a pour so i'm going to pop that under my lamp and i'm going to pop that on for 99 seconds i can take that out um, a little bit sooner I'll show you at that point how we can do that how we can test whether that's ready but the thing is with a clear pour you will find that it will cure a lot more quickly than um, if you've got any additions to it so a clear pour on a mold like this would probably cure within a minute but just there on the side of caution go for that minute and then go up in intervals of 30 seconds. You can always remove the mould from the lamp at any time and it will not affect the cure on the resin at all. And mirror image to that, you can also pop it back in again should you think that it hasn't gone completely hard all the way through. Obviously, um, the depth of the resin will take longer if the depth is larger. In an ideal world, um, your layer should be around 3 mil in height. So you've got a 3 mil layer and then you cure that and then you can move on if you need to. So we're just going to look now. If my, I'm just going to pop my cocktail stick under the lamp and I'm just going to tap. You can see I can't move that whatsoever. The cocktail stick's not causing any indents on the resin. So that, I think, has got about another 10 seconds and we can remove it from the lamp. So I'm going to turn the lamp off and then take it out from the lamp. Do one more little test with the cocktail stick. And that seems absolutely fine. And now we can demold. What you do, you put your finger underneath the mould, ever so gently, just in case we've um, got a, li a little bit wrong that it hasn't quite cured, you need to pop it back straight back in again, but we'll just gently lift. If there's no resin sticking to the base, just pull it from the bottom. If there's no resin sticking up to the base, no uncured resin, we can then remove that and we've got a completely clear top which you could use as a, um, a top on on any piece of jewellery or uh, later on in your resin pieces you could put that onto the top using the same mould again. So that's how to mix and pour your initial layer of resin.